Hi, you're listening to Everyday Superpower, where you can learn about body language and nonverbal communication. We'll keep it nice and simple and get straight to the point. If you like what you hear, click like, click subscribe, leave a comment, and let's get into it. How to Detect Lies, volume number five. So we're getting down into the series now. We're going to be talking about the next scratch. More than likely seen with the index finger, okay? Now there's a whole multitude of different variations when it comes to the touching of the neck, alright? But we're talking about a simple scratch of the neck with the index finger. Usually with the leading hand, okay? So whether you're right-handed or left-handed, it tends to be from your leading hand, alright? Now, you're probably going to be looking below the earlobe. Uh, I'm going to give you about a... Uh, I don't know, like a five centimetre space either way, little circular area just below the earlobe. Although it could be, could be, could, it could differ, you know, it's, uh, it variates. So the person will scratch on average around three to five times, all right? It won't be a prolonged scratching, it'll just be momentary in real time around. The telling of the untruth okay it's a signal of uncertainty all right so if somebody whom doesn't agree including when they don't agree what they are actually telling you anyway they will subconsciously bring the hand up and itch just below the ears okay such as the itching of the nose when the tissues expand in the nose due to high blood pressure when an individual lies they'll do so on the side of the neck this isn't the back of the neck this isn't the front of the neck, and this isn't a caressing of the neck. This is an itch of the neck with the leading finger, okay? So when somebody says something in particular, such as, I really like what you're wearing, yet they just itch in that particular position momentarily as they say, I, I like what you're wearing. And you'll be able to identify other clusters around that, such as the facial expression. And, you know, you'll be able to make your own mind up You'd know, if you know the nature of this person. Or even more so if you don't. Because if you don't know the nature of this person, you can identify it purely for what it is initially. All right. Whereas if you do know the person, even more so, you know their baseline behavior so you can understand them a little bit more. But you know what I mean? I, I'd take this one at face face value when you, when, you, when you learn how to identify it becomes simple all right so what happens when you witch the neck you know what happens when you touch the neck you release endorphins to the brain it's a self-soothing pacifying gesture so you feel good all right why would you want to feel good because you want to feel good in the face of stress when your brain and your mental is stressed because you've just had to lie to someone when you've had to go against your own brain and verbally conjure up something which is distasteful to your own self, you will use your finger to itch that neck to create this um, yin and yang contra contrast to the way you're really feeling, alright? So if somebody itches their neck when they're telling you something in real time and it's not a genuine itch, they're not hanging around and really digging into that itch. It's just like a, a nice little gentle brush of an itch. You need to pay attention to that and understand why they've done that around that particular sentence or quote or statement. Alright? If I ask somebody a question, did you do that thing I asked you to do last week? And they say, oh uh, yeah, an itch, itch, itch the side of the neck as they do it. Something's up. That sparked my curiosity because that wasn't straight and forward and as simple as it could have been. You understand where I'm coming from? So this is how to detect lies number five, the neck itch. If it's been of value, click like, click subscribe. Do your thing, leave a comment. Do a dance, wash your hair, get in the bath. It's a free world.